Hi, this is Rayman's Eric of the Doors. You're listening to Java John on TropicWaveRadio.net. Okay, welcome back, friends. Uh, you're tuned into the Acoustic Record on TropicWaveRadio.net. And how excited am I? I've got Ray Manzarek on the line. Hello, Ray. Hey, man. Hey, man. How's it going? It's going great, Java. Going it's, great. <laughs> it's nice to hear from you. Uh, good to be with you. I, I've got to tell you that it is an honor because in my mind, and I'm sure in many other minds uh, growing up, in the 60s and 70s, uh, you know, the Beatles, the Stones, the Dillons, the Doors, uh, that was it. You know, you guys are the guys that shaped the generation, so I am truly honored to have a chance to chat with you here for a little bit. Hey, well, thank you, bro. And happy 40th anniversary. Yeah, that's coming, huh? It'll be, uh, um, you know, this is the kickoff, and uh, 07 is uh, 40 years uh, since we released the first album, and Light My Fire in the middle of uh, 67 was the uh, number one song in America in the summer of love. Yeah, man. You know, uh, I got a chance to, um, I've been playing some tracks off of the Doors of Perception. Uh, Excellent. Arrived this morning, and you guys uh, did a great job on this. Uh, yeah, it sounds great. I'm very pleased with it. it. It looks like a lot of care went into it, and, and, and everything that I've been reading and seeing about this whole celebration looks like you guys really have taken your time to present uh the doors in a in an honorable fashion as well, always you know hey you it's know. my life man yeah. what are we, you know and john and robbie too what are we yeah. gonna do get, get goofy you know yeah, exactly <laughs> exactly how was john and robbie everybody good everybody's fine man yeah we had a great night at the whiskey a go go yeah and, uh, played with perry farrell and chester bennington oh, from man. Uh, uh, lincoln park and Perry's rhythm section, Flash came on stage and played with us. And I heard man, that. The, the place was packed. The fire marshal was going to close it down. He said, all right, you know, as usual, all right, that's <laughs> enough. You kids are having way too much fun here. Isn't there any adult supervision? And then Mario came out. Mario, uh, the guy who was, yeah, he was in charge of the Whiskey A Go Go then, and he's still oh, yeah. uh, He's still there. And he said, yes, I'm the adult here, <laughs> you know. I'm 80 years old. What the hell are you guys talking about? You're going to close it down. And they said, okay, okay, but you got too many people. Okay, we'll move a few out. It was packed. It was insane. The whole strip was insane. Excellent. I've, I've never seen it. I haven't seen it like that since, uh, you know, since, as they say, back in the day. I, I was going to say, that. Not, don't say never, because that sounds uh, all too familiar to, uh, to early doors there. And no, no, no. Nothing can ever be uh, a never or always or all people. <laughs> I, you know, but it was uh, it was bigger. It was bigger than any other time I've seen it since. In a long back time. Back in the day. Yeah. I was reading a little bit about a, about a, a, a release from, I think, Philadelphia as well, a live, a live recording. Live from Philadelphia, and the yeah. Sa- and the same thing, the fire marshal. The show, show couldn't go on until the fire marshal said, sit down now. Yeah, exactly. There was uh, people were all standing. You got to sit down, get make aisles. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a rock and roll concert, man. Mm-hmm. How are you going to get people to sit down and make aisles? You're all crammed in together here. If a fire breaks out, people are going to. How can a fire break out? We were playing at the Spectrum in Philadelphia. <laughs> it's all concrete. Yeah. What the hell is going to burn? You know, there's nothing is going to burn. It's not going to be a. It's concrete and steel girders, for God's sake. Well, you know, I mean, I think things like that maybe uh, keep kept keep or have kept you amused on the road over the years. I would think either that it's it's either got to amuse you or frustrate the hell out of you, one or the other. Well, that's for sure. I mean, the frustration, absolutely. Yeah. Let's see here. When I uh, when I first hooked up with uh, with your offices over there, it was it was in uh, in regards to uh, the doors by the doors. Yeah. And the book. The, the book. picture book. That's what just came out. Yeah. And uh, and and that's uh, largely written by um, by by the Doors with um, with Ben, ben Fong Torres, and I love him. Always have. He's he's yeah, one of the great writer, one of the greatest, and uh, a good guy too. I was just with him last night. We were doing a book signing in uh, San Francisco on 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 Haight Ashbury. You know, on on in the Haight Ashbury on Haight Street. Cool. So uh, there we were with uh, you know the new hippies and. Some of the old timers coming in for book signing too. It was cool, man. I bet, I bet. I, I saw on the website that you were doing that, so that looked like a, fu- a lot yep. of fun. Uh, but you know, when when uh, when the press releases and everything started coming out about the book, what seemed real exciting was uh, 
you know, like Jim's dad speaking out. Yeah, um, Jim's and, dad speaks. And, yep. and, uh, and a lot of people coming forward with their recollections. And it's nice right. to finally have a, a firsthand account that you're not wondering, okay, is it BS or, you know, is this a little fictional account or, you no, know, it's coming from the doors. So we appreciate that. Coming from the doors, that. it could always be fictional. Well, that's true. <laughs> you know, is, it, is this fiction too? Is, is this is this really happen? Uh, really, Ray? Really? Really? Okay, I just needed to know. <laughs> uh, let's see. I, also, on the website, I noticed a uh, little blurb there that says, Enough to base a movie on. Uh, are you guys working on a movie along the same lines? Of- well, there will be a documentary film out sometime um, next year, probably towards the end of next year if we're lucky and get it all together that fast. Um, you can't have it. Yeah, we're working on a film, a documentary. Tell the story of the Doors uh, with the with the footage that we have, so that you get a, uh, you know, you get the Doors talking about the Doors rather than uh, the Oliver Stone version. Right. Which, um, <laughs> I guess we won't go into that right now. Oh, you can. You got to <laughs> say. And speaking of that, Ray, what did you think of the? Here's your question. Uh, speaking of that, Ray, what did you think of the Oliver Stone movie? Exactly. Right. Uh, well, I didn't. I thought it was really uh, off the mark as far as Jim Morrison was concerned. It made him out to be one bitchin' guy, but one pretty obnoxious guy too. Yeah. So, well, you know. I, I had a hell, feeling that you Jim take all his wasn't. drunken episodes and you put them back to back, and it was like people said to me, "How could how'd you guys write songs and and how'd you do anything with a guy like that?" I said, "Well, he wasn't like that all the time, you know. Once in a while, when he was drunk, he was awful and out of control. But for the most part, he was very gracious, charming." very intelligent and a poet when he drank he became a whole nother person he became jimbo yes and i I think that's a i think that's a big misconception with a lot of rock and roll a lot of people you know they see the they hear the stories and they see the the few episodes and they and they automatically think that that person is completely out of it all the time all the time and uh, they never say always don't uh, yes never say (laughs) always all the time Exactly. Can't be all the time. No, I mean, how could we get? How would? How did we write those songs? How could anybody survive? Exactly. Uh, when I was leading up this morning, I had originally planned on playing a few tracks before I spoke with you, and then a few tracks after. And I just ended up uh, taking the whole morning and playing a lot of tracks from various Doors albums, including cool. the, the new box set and uh, some stuff from other voices in full circle. Uh, it's a few things that I haven't listened to in many years, and uh, and found them very delightful still. Um, and then and then I also noticed that there is talk. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna make uh, I, I lost my note on the new name for the band. Uh, the uh, riders, riders on the, the storm. riders on the storm. Uh, are they? Are you guys recording with Ian Asbury? Yes. And uh, we might be able to look for a live recording on that maybe next year sometime. That's right. Very cool. We're we're going out on the road uh, um, January uh, New Year's Eve. We're pl- we're we're kicking off a, a European tour on New Year's Eve in London at the Roundhouse. <laughs> legendary, gonna be legendary great. Roundhouse. And that's, we played the Roundhouse yeah. in uh, 1968 or so. That was that was like one of the first one of the first European gigs, wasn't it for you that's guys? That's right. The yeah. only European tour that uh, you know that Jim Morris was able to do. I, I sadly, of course, I, I'm a few years younger, so I would have never had the chance to see in the band, uh, the original lineup, and mm-hmm. uh, and and I kick myself for not driving across the state and seeing you guys in Tampa a couple years ago because Hell, everybody that I know night. that went said it was an amazing night. It really was, and it was you know a, a great Florida night too. So yeah. it was uh, warm and you know it just couldn't have been better. Well, so I hope. Yeah, you- Ian Asbury is terrific. Great singer. I thought he was a good, a very good choice. I'm not a uh, hundred uh-huh. percent, you know, familiar with his work, uh, um, but I've always knew. I always liked his voice, and uh, and I think you had him on the special when you when you had all the different artists. The uh, right out, on know, that TV and, show, and, and, right? And, 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 yes. And I picked him out. I said, you know, he would be one of the guys. Him or See? Uh, no, you did. There you go, man. I, Bingo. I did. Yeah. We like mind. Great minds think alike. We <laughs> we said the same thing. <laughs> Ian's the guy. Ian's the guy. You know, I also like, uh, uh, what's his name from uh, Pearl Jam, too. But, uh, oh, yeah. Eddie, Eddie Vedder. Vedder. You know, Eddie. Eddie's just amazing himself. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so what else is going on, Ray? Ray, you're... you're, you're Does there have to be more? I, I don't know. <laughs> Isn't that enough? Are you ready to go? 
I've got a, a new book out. <laughs> That's where I, I wrote was, a book. Yeah, I was leaning toward the book. A uh, uh, fiction this it's time. It's a great, uh, it's, a, it's a supernatural story of the supernatural. That's yeah. the Civil War. Cool. Great ghost story. Um, you know, about 200 pages, quick, easy read. And uh, it's called Snake Moon. And it's really good. That, that, if I can say so myself. So, uh, so this is my third book. I've got uh, my autobiography, Light My Fire, My Life with the Doors. Telling the Doors story, the story of LSD and where Jim Morrison came from and how, I mean, the UCLA Film School, I don't go into his uh, family background, that's not important to me, but uh, Jim and Ray and, and Dorothy at the beach in Venice and uh, us, uh, you know, Jim moving in with uh, me and Dorothy and, and putting the band together and meeting John and Robbie. So it's the whole Doors story, Light My Fire. And then I wrote a story of, and this is fun, uh, what if a, a story of a rock star who stages his own death in Paris? Huh. Purely fictional. <laughs> and it's called The Poet in Exile. Oh. So after that, The Poet in Exile is a work of fiction, and now uh, Snake Moon, having nothing to do with the doors, but having yeah. uh, a story of supernatural possession, whatnot, in the Civil War. So it's like a historical and kind of a spooky tale at the same time. Yeah. Well, I I had read the the light my fire and loved that. Good um, man. I, I missed the poet in exile. I'll have to check that out because that sounds like an intriguing story. Yeah. Well, if you like uh, what might have happened to somebody very much like Jim Morrison, what might have happened? Yeah, I had fun writing that one. I give the, this guy the poet. He's called the poet. Give him the rest of his life. And Snake Moon is a, a great uh, spooky. Uh, now that we're coming up into the dark time here. Uh, the winter solstice and right. whatnot. Uh, be a great book to read after Christmas. And, and the, you know, a couple of, uh, uh, of CDs out there. One I one I did called Atonal Head. Atonal Head. Uh -huh. with a, a, a guy from uh, a trumpet player, composer, who goes by the name Ball, D-A-L. That's it. And uh, it's all electronic music. Nice. And so anyway, got a bunch of stuff out there. Um, folks, uh, folks who are interested in all about Ray uh, could go to either uh, thedoors.com and or raymanzarek.com. Yeah. 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 And find out all kinds of stuff on there. You guys, the website for The Doors is absolutely beautiful. Um, Good. Cool. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I wanted to talk to you about some of the, um, some of the tracks that are on the uh, uh, perception. Yeah. Uh, you need meat. Don't go no further. Uh, that's you on vocals, isn't that? You that's me. That that's singing. you. A Muddy Waters song. Love that one, and uh, and then uh, Orange County Suite. Orange County Suite is uh, Jim uh, at the piano um, at the time of the uh, the poetry session that he did, reading his poetry on uh, his uh, his last birthday, December eighth, uh, nineteen seventy. He read, just went into the recording studio and started reading all the poetry. And then he sat down and just played. That chord that he knows on the piano and sang uh, Orange County Suite about his girl girlfriend Pamela, and then we expanded on it and, and completed it for him. And then and that's the so that then that was the same night that the uh, that the poetry from the American yeah, that, Prayer uh, came out. Right, an, an American Prayer, yeah, all that, that stuff from that that American I've Prayer. Played a number of bits off of that today, and, and again after not hearing that in a while. Uh, that's just a wonderful piece. That whole thing is just... That's a great album. A lot of fun. I, and I really, uh, I highly recommend an American Prayer to people. Oh, yeah. That's I, a headphone. Put your headphones oh, yeah. on and get yourself a glass of wine. And uh, if you drink wine, get yourself a beer. If you're younger, you can have a beer. If you're older, maybe you drink a, a little wine. And uh, if you want to do a doob, that's up to you. That's but up I, to you. I guarantee you. you'll... <laughs> that, put your headphones on and listen to an American prayer. That will really take you on a journey. Because that's what we tried to do. We tried, what John and Robbie and I tried to do is make a, uh, um, in effect, a, 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 a journey for your ear. Nothing to do. You've got to close your eyes. There's nothing to see. The, uh, the images of, of what Jim is talking about, what we tried to construct, will all take place behind your closed eyes. Oh, yeah. I remember the day that that came out. Mm. And I and I remember uh, sitting and listening to it with my friends and our parents. <laughs> wow! There was a couple passages in particular that threw it's the parents. Dirty. But you know, it was fun. <laughs> parents should not listen to it. <laughs> but 
adults should not <laughs> but, listen to those now, dirty and, words. And here we are. Now we're the parents, you know. So yeah. Well, yeah. we can listen to it because we listened to it back then. So. They were they were okay <laughs> with it, but it was it was a little shocking. Uh, I'll bet it was. Uh, Ray, we, to my C word. That's I right. What happened that, when that, that was, came on? That was the one when the when the plates fell. Whoop! Uh, but, the hair uh, stood up on end. <laughs> Ode to my, and we won't say it, Ode to my seed, my restore and crucify. That is my Whoa. cue for a break. Ray, will All you right. come back with me for just a couple more minutes after sure, this man. break? Thanks, bro. Ray hey, Manzerk, Ray. ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back right after these messages. And uh, let's see, I know we've only got a few more minutes left here with you, and again, I appreciate your time today. Uh, looking at your bio earlier, I noticed you're uh, originally from Chicago. Yep. And Born and raised in Chicago with the blues on the south side of Chicago. Uh, my, my wife is going on a little trip in a couple of weeks with her girlfriends. It's a ladies' uh, trip, ladies' night out, ladies' weekend out, and they're going to Chicago. She's going for her first time. Well, that'll be fun, man. Great museums. Uh, the Art Institute is there, and uh, Field Museum of Natural History, and uh, so uh, and uh, good shopping on, on Michigan Boulevard. And North Michigan Boulevard, and then uh, at night they can go to uh, the whole uh, the blues, catch all the all the blues clubs down there on the near north side. They should have a lot of fun. I think they will. They're they're all very excited. Anyway, well, I, that's I guess what's we'll going on out. in Chicago. Yeah, cool. And now you're uh, you're no longer in Southern California. You're up in uh, Northern yeah, California. Yeah, moved up to Napa, up in the Northern California, living in wine country. Beautiful. Semi-retired up here, although I've been semi-retired. You know. Since I graduated from UCLA. <laughs> the, the more retired you get, the busier you are, huh? <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. We've got two and a half acres up here. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Vegetable gardens and fruit trees and fish pond out there with lotuses and, uh, you know, all kinds of water plants, water lilies, and just taking care of them. Chickens, Very you know, cool. Chickens laying eggs and, and doors gigs and yeah. doors stuff to do and uh, riders on the storm, man, Eric Krieger and Ian Asbury. I sure hope we make it down to Florida. I do, too, because I won't yeah, miss you might. guys this time. I'm not sure what the, what the schedule is, but we're playing Europe, although I don't know about going to Florida in the summertime. I know. We get passed over a bunch of times, but it's, yeah, get, well, it's, it's getting better than it used there, to. You know? Hot in how many but, man, ways? outdoor gigs. <laughs> I mean, what is, Florida's great to play outdoor gigs. Oh, yeah. You know? We're going to go over to Tampa tomorrow night to catch Aerosmith outdoors. Uh-huh. It's been a while, and I and I love the recording that uh, Stephen did with you guys on that uh, on that tribute album. That was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stoned Immaculate, yeah. it's called. Yeah. yeah, tribute tribute to the Doors by a whole bunch of bands. Yeah, and that's where the TV show came from. The VH1 uh, Storytellers. It was uh, uh, a bunch of the guys who were singing on the tribute to the Doors, and we did it live uh, with the Doors backing up uh, Scott Stapp and Scott Weiland. And uh, um, you know, uh, Perry Farrell and, and then Ian Asper. Yeah. And, uh, when it came time to go on the road, Robbie and I said, that's the guy, man. Let's get Ian. And off we went, and we're still doing it. And it's, it's you know, it's just better than ever. They are loving it. We're getting close to time up here. Okay, bro. And uh, I very much appreciate you giving a shout today, Ray. And I, hey, and my pleasure. Happy anniversary to you and all the guys. Thank you. Uh, it's Thank really you so been a blast talking to you, and maybe we'll get to do this again sometime. You got it. And listen, everyone, have a great Thanksgiving. Oh, you oh, too. Oh, boy, two, what is it, yeah, two man. days to turkey. Yeah, man. Two I am days so to, excited. I'm really a week of turkey. <laughs> turkey. I haven't had a turkey since last Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm going right. to start eating more turkey. I'm dying for my turkey, mashed potatoes, and gravy. <laughs> Dorothy makes a great turkey. So happy Thanksgiving, everybody. You too, brother. Thank you again. Okay, bro. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. All right. How exciting is that? Ray Manzarek of the Doors here on the Acoustic Record. We're going to go out here with some stuff from the American Prayer, and uh, I'll be right back with you. All hail the American night.